uranium. My brain is on uranium and titanium. 45s who aiming them, organize the stadium. Tell them, take cover, I warned you not to play with them. The borderline war crimes, you got away with them. Who came to save the day and brought the K with them? To reap the people's champ from the equal team. Trying to keep it clean, long as all my people solid gene. I've been in the music scene, long as out of leads, making salaries. Still accumulating calories, demonstrating how to breathe. Cynically, Genovese, I've been a reason to freeze. Read cheese in the league on my own, getting cheese. I will hurt Hercules, I will murk most disease. I'm the last one to show up, the first one to leave the crime scene. The I've seen, the line theme, the ridiculous rhyme scheme. Stick to the grind gene, the hell with the hygiene. It's a dirty bomb, word is 730 times. Disaster level 9 11 meets 11 9. Catastrophe beyond incredible, I redefine the seventh sign. Fast hysteria, mass hysteria from the Damascus area to Middle America school. Cafeterias and cold de sac. I told you that the boss is back. You know what I'm What's up, folks? <clears throat> Snap turtle in the car on the way back to the tilt from work. Yo, what's good? Uh, it's Monday, June 3rd, 2019. And uh, the weather is uh, pretty clear. 0% chance of chemtrails. I ain't seen them in a few days going on a couple weeks anyway it was good oh man you know our children man our children are under attack constantly and they are attacked from every angle every angle and it's like the more you see the more they throw at you and I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's all about conditioning us to accept pedophiles in society. I say that again. The agenda is to condition us to accept pedophiles in society. Case in point, your boy Joe Biden did a town hall meeting or whatever the case may be and he pulls a 10 year old girl 10 year old black girl up with him and proceeds to stand behind her put his grubby disgusting hands on her shoulders and lean into her ear and talk to her in her ear like 
is a, some normal shit to do. And, you know, that's disgusting enough, right? That's disgusting. But I'm going to tell you what's even more disgusting is the press that were there and people in the audience hemming and hawing talking about, oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Oh, that's so adorable. Uh, excuse me? Uh, that was not adorable. That was not cute. That was disgusting. That was too much. That was overbearing. That motherfucker was all in her space. After he told everyone that he was going to stop invading people's personal space, <laughs> the first thing he does after that is invades a 10-year-old girl's space. Um, that's a huge problem, y'all. This type of behavior should not be applauded as cute or, or anything like that. That's what's most disgusting about it. Let me tell you something. If I was there, first of all, I wouldn't be at no goddamn uh, Joe Biden town hall meeting or whatever the hell you want to call it. I wouldn't be there. No, not, not, not your boy. All right. Number one, that let's, but say, let's say I, I did want to go there. Let's say I was a, a blind liberal black dude who uh, wanted Joe Biden to be president. And I brought my children or, my, or, or one of my daughters there with me so she can ask some questions. Um, as soon as he put place his little nasty ass hands on my child, I'm going up there and I'm snatching my baby up and I'm like, look here, look here, look here, play him. This ain't this ain't happening. This ain't happening. But no, what do we get? We get applause and declarations of cuteness. This is disgusting. This is the world we're coming to. This is the, what the world's coming to, y'all. You know, like our children are no longer safe. We got trannies uh, doing uh, school book readings or, or reading in libraries. Uh, reading the kids in libraries about gay shit and tranny shit and not only do we have that going on we have that going on with felons you got felon trannies teaching storybook time to little kids and how he managed to get past the background check is beyond me but I tell you what I don't believe he did get past the background check. I think they just allowed him to do that shit anyway. Because why not introduce the children to gay them ASAP? Why not do that? Why not introduce the children to gay shit as soon as possible? Because that's what they're teaching in the schools nowadays. You know, you go, you go to these schools in California. They're trying to teach our children that there are 8 million different genders and uh you know uh you know that uh you can play with this toy and that toy and all this other shit they talking about sex toys but i'm gonna tell you what they're not gonna tell you about as far as gaydom they're not gonna tell you about anal prolapse all right they're not gonna tell you about that they're not gonna tell you that condoms are ineffective are essentially ineffective when you're doing anal they're not going to tell you that you're more likely to contract a disease if you're doing it up the ass. And they're also going not going to tell you about cases when uh, men are, in a ho are hospitalized for eating booty because they have a flesh-eating disease in their face now because they decided to stick their tongue in their mouth up a booty hole. They're not going to tell you about that. They're just going to tell you, oh, you can love whoever you want to love and blah, 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 the blue blow. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Shit ain't real, y'all. We have to help our as children understand that this behavior and activity is nasty and is counterproductive and there's is, is, is no purpose to it. They're also not going to tell your children that most gay people are gay because they were molested as children. 
All right, they're not gonna tell you that. They're gonna tell you that oh, they, oh, we were born this way. Bullshit. Catch, catch a gay dude when he when when he he ain't thinking he being recorded or uh, being interviewed to have a conversation kinds of conversation with him. Most of them might tell you that they were molested as children and that they have gone on to molest children as grown men or as kids. Now, I didn't do this myself, but I saw a video that Hassan Campbell had put up on his page when a dude went undercover at a gay bar and was asking gay dudes all kind of questions. I was not surprised to find that almost everyone he asked had been molested. All right, and that they molest children and they have sex with teenagers and all this other shit. It's nasty and it's bullshit, y'all. They're not gonna tell you about that. So, what they're gonna do, they're going to, what they call that, glamorize. They're gonna glamorize gaydom. They're gonna glamorize uh, pedophilia, you know, and it's just, it's, it's, it, 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 oh my God, it's just, when I think about it, it's like, where is safe on this planet to go to get away from this bullshit? Because I'm going to tell you something, in the UK, they got a show, all right? They got a, a reality show in the UK called Age Gap Love, all right? It's about couples who will have huge differences in their age. There's an 84-year-old man and a 24 year old woman couple. And even more disgusted, disgustingly, there is a 44 year old man and 16 year old girl couple. Now, in the UK, the age of consent is um, 16. So, yeah, technically it's legal, but morally, it's disgusting. There is nothing a 16-year-old girl has to offer a 44-year-old man outside of some sexual bullshit. There is no possible relationship between two people of such differing ages. And I'm gonna tell you why you can't have a relationship, and I've said this before, all right, I said this before. You can't have, if you're a grown ass man, your 20s and your 30s and your 40s, it is very impossible to have a relationship with a 14, 13, 16, 15 year old kid because you have, there's nothing that you guys can relate to. There's no, there's nothing that she can relate to in regards to you and there's nothing that you can relate to in regards to her because of the vast age differences the differences in the experience there's nothing that, that no she can't you can't hold a conversation with her or anything like that there is no possible relationship i don't care if it's so-called consensual because guess what children can be easily manipulated by slick talking ass grown people so no you cannot have a relationship with those differing ages, you can't. It just not. You can't do it. You can't do it. I don't care what nobody say. So what are they doing? They were glamorizing this type of relation. This this type of uh, you know uh, uh, encounter. This type of sick encounter between a grown man and a little girl playing soft little melodic uh, lovey dovey music and shit and all happy dappy and all that. This shit is getting out of hand. I mean, you already got Theresa May running around uh, 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 being pro pedophile. You know what I'm saying? Go, go if y'all need to go look that up. You know, she said some pretty disturbing things about pedophiles. All right, and don't think that that shit, shit like that, won't sneak its way into the United States. All right, they're already trying to do that shit with these. Uh, little tranny boys okay you got these tranny boys running around on stage acting like women 
getting dollars thrown on them. And no one is outraged about it. Like, where is the outrage for that type of behavior? Why are we sitting up here acting like this shit is cute? You know, half of the problem is these women, man. They, I mean, some of these young, some of these women applaud gay behavior. They, they like uh, gay men running around trying to be like them and all that shit. They think it's cute. They think it's, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, they think it's cute until that gay dude, your gay friend, is fucking your, your, your boyfriend and shit like that. You know? But it's a, it's a huge problem. This is we we need to be outraged at this type of behavior. Every man that was in that strip club throwing dollars at that little boy, dressed up as a girl, should have been arrested and prosecuted. And the parents need to be arrested and prosecuted. This is ridiculous. You. Not only are they confusing the poor little boy by make, making him believe that he's a girl, but they're sexualizing him. They're sexualizing this little boy or these little boys. More and more you're seeing these little boys come, coming up out of there uh, being all uh, tranny and shit. Um, and you know, that's one reason I could not watch House of Lies. That Showtime show with Don Cheadle, who had on the show had a son who was trying to act like a girl and shit. I could not, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't endorse that. And Don Cheadle, old bitch ass, running around talking about that's okay. See, this is the type of shit when when people do that, when these celebrities and these entertainers ripping and running around talking about that shit. Charlie's staring, uh, having his little boy. Having a little boy she adopted uh, run around like a girl because he said he was a girl one day when he was two years old. This is the type of shit. We need to let these motherfuckers know that, nah, it's not okay. But we're not doing that. We're still supporting their, their movies and, and uh, all that shit. Supporting their music. Shit ain't cute. Shit ain't cute. So, I mean, and then, and then you have this latest thing, right? this new thing coming out with Snapchat. Snapchat has these little filters where they're talking about love is love and all this other shit. Love is, uh, love knows no color. Love knows no, uh, gender, knows no, no, uh, disability. And then the very last one, if you scroll all the way over to the, uh, to the right, you know, swipe left, scroll to the right is, um, Love knows no age. Now, why would they throw age in there? Hmm? What was it? What was it? Why would they throw age in there? See, you have to understand some things about social engineering, all right? They're going to introduce shit into the mix, into society into the population piecemeal, little piece by piece, right? So they're gonna say, uh, uh, love knows no age, which basically means age ain't nothing but a number, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, why can't uh, a 34 year old date a 15 year old, you know what I'm saying? All that bullshit. And they're sneaking it in. And, 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 selling, and selling clothes at uh, Target with some gay shit. On, on little kids, on little kids' clothes, they're selling kids' clothes with gay pride shit on it. Um, that's a that's a huge problem. You know, like why why are we doing this? Why are we, you know, you know, gay, gay is a sexual orientation. Gayness is a sexual orientation, which means. That you were set when you put this shit on children's t-shirts and took children's clothes and you and you run around talking about gay pride in, in the little schools where little kids go, you are sexualizing everything that they see. You're sexualizing their t-shirts because 
gayness is a sexual orientation. It, it, it's a sexual orientation. It's not a gender. It's not a, you know, that's what it is. It's all about sex. Gay shit is about sex. It's sexual shit. Now, I don't hate gay people. You understand? I'm not a homophobe. And I know my sister's gay. You know, my sister is a lesbian. But she doesn't run around uh, teaching her, her her nieces and nephews about being gay. You understand? They don't even know she's gay. She don't need to flaunt it in their face or tell them about it. You know, she don't need to go there with my children because she knows it's a sexual thing. Now, um, that's what it is. So you're introducing sex to children in Target on their clothes. You're introducing sex to children at school when you teach them about uh, some bullshit ass gender fluidity that, that's what you're doing you're, you're teaching them you know that, that's what it is and then you have tranny boys trans boys or whatever you want to call them competing in sports against our little girls girls who busted their ass their whole life to be at to perform at peak condition, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> condition, you know, to be the best woman in their field. And here comes a gay boy who was competing as a man the year before. Now he's competing as a girl and blowing all the girls out of the water, even though he was a mediocre boy. So you're damaging our children in many ways. Our, our children are being damaged in many ways. All right. It, 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 and it's getting ridiculous. And then you got this toxic masculinity bullshit, which was, uh, you know, the idea, the ideology of toxic masculinity was started by a man who didn't want, who did not want to be a man any longer and became a woman. So now you have a tranny putting this toxic masculinity bullshit out there. And that should tell you something. That should tell you that it's completely subjective how he came up with that bullshit. And thanks, uh, and shout out to uh, Irene Yvette for bringing that to my attention because I had no idea that... Uh, I had no idea that toxic masculinity was coined by a tranny. All right. And what's worse is grown ass men, grown ass supposedly straight men, are adopting this ideology and they're, I don't know, they're just like, oh, I, I don't have to be a, 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 a male leader anymore. I can just, you know, I don't have to be a man. I don't. I can cry when uh, when a pillow hits. Him. I don't know what the fuck. Like it's it's getting ridiculous out here. <clears throat> you know, it's a whole wave. This this toxic masculinity bullshit is a whole wave. If I tell my my son to man up because he he rode his bike and he fell over and scraped his knee. And you start crying. I say, hey, man, you know, you got to suck it up. Suck it up and drive on. You know what I'm saying? Suck it up, drive on. You know, it's a little scratch, blah, blah, blah. They would call that toxic masculinity. They would call that toxic masculinity. Even though I would tell my daughter the same thing. I would tell her, look, woman up. You know what I'm saying? It's a scratch, boo, boo, boo. You know? But no, they don't see it that way. They don't see the full... Well, they see it, but they ignore it because they're trying to push an agenda where the men become the girls 
and the girls become the men and you know the thought process disturb d disrupts your hormones and shit like that like y'all have no idea how the mental mind can affect your body you don't you have no idea how certain thought processes and certain beliefs and certain uh stresses and and certain certain emotions will trigger shit in your body you know extreme happiness can be good for your body but extreme sadness extreme confusion extreme the, the you know, extreme uh, opposites to what is natural can throw you off. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be careful about what we introduce ourselves to and what we put out there. You know what I mean? We have to be we have to uh, be a lot more discriminating in regards to uh, what we allow our children to be exposed to. We need to stop being afraid of being called homophobes, thisophobe, thatophobe. We need to stop being so afraid of that. Because if we just go around, oh, I, I'm so concerned. Oh, I don't, I don't want to piss off uh, this community or that community. I don't want to tell the truth because I don't want to p piss anybody off. Well, that's not going to get us anywhere. It's going to get us deeper in a shithole that you know shit we gonna need a goddamn uh sh a shovel to get out of man like y'all need to pay attention man we too busy trying to be entertained and feel good you know we, we so concerned with what uh, with our own lives that our children are being casted aside you know we, we, we take our children to school where they're teaching them bullshit, you know, and we're allowing them to get injected with poison. We're allowing them to get hit with all kind of radio waves. And then you wonder why the suicide rate is going up. This one young lady who uh, from a high school, she, uh, she, was being bullied and sexually assaulted at school. Okay? She was being assaulted, sexually assaulted at school and bullied. And she decided that she was going to jump out of a four-story window and killed herself. And my question is, where were her parents? Did she talk to her parents? You know what I'm saying? Are we allowing our children to talk to us? Are we listening to our children when they talk to us? Or are we just ignoring their feelings because they're they're so oh you y'all don't know you don't know what you're talking about you a little kid, you know? We we're so quick to dismiss our children's feelings because you know they're kids. But now is the time now that is is it more of a, it's more important now to pay attention. To what our children are telling us and how how they act and what their behavior is we have to ask our children every day how they're doing you know what i'm saying how was school how was this how was that we have to really be involved and interested in our children's lives if we want to keep them alive and we want to keep them safe because we don't know what they're being exposed to when we're not around we don't know what people are doing to them when we're not around unless they tell us and they have to be comfortable telling us what's going on. It's, it's crazy. And we just need to get our, we need to pull our heads out of our asses and get our shit together. You know, it, it, just, and it, this is why I homeschool my children. This is why, this is exactly why, because I'm going to have full control over how my children are raised me and my wife we're going to have full control and say so over how our children are raised and that's just the bottom line to it it's the bottom line <clears throat> and that's just that's how i'm coming with it and that's that's how i would hope that most of you would come with it <clears throat>
because just look around, look around. Go go up to the school. If your children are in school, go up to the school, do a tour of the school. Don't just drop them off. Do a tour and see, see what they're being exposed to. Look at the curriculum, all right? Uh, you know, look, pay attention to what they're watching on TV. Pay attention to what they have interest in. Pay attention to where they go shopping at. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna get off this and uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the video, share this video, whatever you gotta do. You know, get the word out there. Snapchat is now trying to say AJ nothing but a number. Love knows no age. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Anyway, much love to y'all. Peace out.